family, and especially my mother, uh, were always in, involved in local public service, uh, in local elections, and in local politics. Uh, my mother was usually a poll worker, and I can remember uh, many on the election night actually spending the night mostly at the courthouse uh, as they waited for ballot boxes to come in, as ballot boxes were counted in precincts all over Ashley County. Of course, hand counted with old paper ballots, uh, hand delivered uh, by vehicles into the night at the courthouse itself. So just always had been exposed to the process, really in one way or another, uh, have been pretty actively involved in politics and public policy since that time in various roles. Not only was he uh, a great chief of staff, he's the closest thing I've ever had to a brother. So uh, Morrill knew what I thought before I thought it sometimes and vice versa. And uh, we are, he's the brother I never had and, and we're still that close. Morrill has a lot of special characteristics that I don't often find in one person. Everybody knows he's legislatively a genius, but I don't know if a lot of people know how smart he is on a wide variety of topics. Morrill Harriman has a lot of great uh, qualities. Uh, first of all, he's very intelligent, but in addition to that, he's got a great big heart. Uh, he cares about people. Uh, he always takes the side of the underdog. Uh, he feels it's his responsibility to speak out for folks who sometimes don't have a, a voice for themselves. Uh, he's just a quality person that uh, combines a great brain with a great big heart. Moral is fun. He makes the job absolutely, unbelievably fun. And I think that's his greatest characteristic. Despite all his good qualities, Morrill uh, can be a smart aleck. <laughs> he, he, uh, <laughs> his dry, acerbic wit uh, would often diffuse uh, potentially uh, hostile uh, situations. He was always, I remember when we, when we were in the Senate and I'd get carried away at some, uh, uh, something that uh, was pretty stupid, he'd kick me under the table and tell me to be nicer. Although his name was not on a lot of bills when he was in the Senate, his fingerprints were all over them. He's worked across party lines for good public policy for kids. If I left for 20 years uh, and came back, all my money would be in the right place, my wife would be taken care of, the kids would be taken care of because Moral would see to it. He's, uh, he's that kind of person and I'm that close to him. Uh, it's, it's an honor to really be able to say something about his honor, and he's, the honor is well deserved. Moral, I never would have believed when I moved back here in 2005 that we would become such good friends. Um, I treasure the impromptu phone calls, texts, that we send each other about the weather, about birds that we've seen, or about what kind of snake is in my backyard. I treasure my friendship with you and Susan, and I congratulate you on this most well-deserved honor. I love you. Moral, if I had something I could say to you as a result of this honor, it's uh, calm down, don't get the big head. I mean, you're still Moral Harriman. There's no reason for you to be all pumped up and, uh, uh, and proud about this. Uh, just, keep, just keep it down.